definitely a slow process. Eating feeders is much larger than what they're used to, but I'm only giving them one each. So far, every one of them I offered them to them snatched them right up. So I guess they knew they were ready to graduate in size of their feeders. They won't eat them if they know they can't handle them. So that's one thing good you can count on with snakes is if it's too big they know it's too big and most of them not all of them most of them will refuse to try to eat it if it's too big for them that's a good size hopper this is graduating from a pinky to a hopper skipping everything in between so that's quite a progression another one of my new babies from a couple of months ago real pretty colors this is a brighter orange one That's a pretty good sized dinner there, kid. I always closely monitor my snakes when they're eating. I don't, I'm not one to just throw them food and walk away. I hate to see people that do that. But when you got a big, huge group of snakes, you can't really take the time to sit and watch each one of them eat to make sure that everything goes all right. But... I don't have that many. I only have a total of 30. How many I got now? I lost track. 34, 36, somewhere around there, but I try to always monitor them when they're eating. You never know when something can go wrong. It's just me. I worry about them. I'm concerned about them. And I pay co close attention to them at all times. So. It's just me. It's a good sized feeder there, kiddo. See if you're going to use your body to squeeze it in like the other one did. They know what they're doing. They're not oblivious to anything like people think they are. But yeah. The hardest point for them to deal with is the shoulders. That's why snakes have problems eating humans because their shoulders are so wide. Just thought I'd throw that out there because people think, oh, they're going to eat you. It's not that easy, even for a huge constrictor, to get past your shoulders. So I don't know why people freak out about that. It'd take a, a ginormous snake to eat a full-grown man. It really would because of the width of our shoulder bones. But they have the hardest time with the shoulder and the hips of any of the feeders when they're going for a larger feeder. Even though their jaws expand in multiple directions, it's still quite a wide spectrum for them to get into their mouth. Is the shoulders and the hips. The hips aren't much further apart than the shoulders are in a feeder. Now, I know people have issues with people making videos of their snakes eating, but I'm just doing this for educational purposes to show people how they do it. So, so many people don't even understand the body mechanics of a snake, how they eat. Why they constrict, how they constrict, why they bite, how they bite. It's just amazing the people that really are very inexperienced with them and know so little about them, but they instantly become the judge and know it all of snakes. Now she's, this one's going to do the same thing the first one did. Going to wrap it with her body and squeeze it sides in, constrict it, and Pull the sides in on the feeder so it elongates the feeder so it's easier for her to get it in. And the shoulders right there are hard and the snake's aware of it those shoulders are wide. So what she's doing is she's constricting the feeder to compress it so she can easier get it into her mouth. See they're not stupid animals. Contrary to popular beliefs they're not. And that's the act of constricting. See now she's There you go. That's what she did. They control their feeders with their body. 
And what she did was she squeezed it in, pulled those shoulders in closer together so it's easier for her to consume the feeder. She's probably going to do it again. Yep, there she goes. She wants to get those shoulders pulled in as tight as she can together. Oops, sorry about that camera slip. But she wants to get that feeder's shoulders drawn in close as she can to each other so it's easier for her to pull the feeder in. And that's what she's doing. And she's working it to her advantage. She's squeezing it, she's rotating it, and she's constricting it all in one to pull those shoulders in close to each other so she can get the shoulders into her mouth easier. Very ama amazing animals. It's really interesting to watch and learn from them. And there's nothing stupid about them. But then again, if you don't ever observe them and pay attention to what they're doing, you wouldn't know the difference anyway. Like so many people don't. This is what you learn from observation. I'm watching your snakes now. She's getting toward the shoulders. Let's see if this one wraps it to pull the shoulders in. Or she thinks she's going to be able to eat it without compressing the shoulders on it. That's how smart they are. True, instincts taught them how to do this, but it's a conscious thought and conscious awareness, which means they do have a thinking process. And up here she goes. She's going to wrap around it and squeeze the shoulders in together. That's how well I know my snakes. It takes observation, it takes dedication, and it takes caring. And wanting to learn about them to observe these things. If you don't ever pay them any attention, these are things you'll overlook and never notice. Never learn to read about them. The important thing with raising snakes is to be able to predict their actions and to interpret their actions. That's why all my snakes are very people friendly. Because I understand them, because I've invested a lot of time working with them and observing them. And they know that. They're aware of it. So they're very people-friendly animals. That's the end result. Here we go. Time to wrap the shoulders. Pull the sides in. That's what you get from observation. You learn to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. it makes it easier for you to raise them when you understand their body mechanics. You can see she's got that totally entwined. She's pulling the sides in on it to compress the feeder so it's easier for her to get into her mouth. The shoulders are really wide. There, let's try it from this side. That's what she's doing. She's squeezing the shoulders in to compress them so she can swallow it easier. That's a thinking process.